Hi guys, so welcome to another new video by Bioorganic Hub. So in this video, we will discuss about uh, 2 plus 2 cycle additions, which is very important topic for CSI and NET to understand. Many questions come for thermal 2 plus 2 cycle addition. So as you know, normal alkene doesn't participate in 2 plus 2 cycle addition, cycle addition let's say cyclopentadiene or alkene, substitutory alkene, ethylene or substitutory ethylene participate in 4 plus 2 cycle addition, but not in 2 plus 2 cycle addition. So why and why this type of special alkene will participate so as to as for your concern that uh, substituted ethylene and uh, a special type of alkene if you uh, allow to react then they will participate in 2 plus 2 cycle addition so normal normal ethylene doesn't participate but special type of alkene like this special type of alkene like this so this the first one is the example of ketene this one is the example of ketene and this one is the aline. So these are the special type of alkene. They participate in the cycle additions and give the desired product. So what is the special interaction is happening in this type of alkene? Why it is going to a forward directions reaction? So diene and dienophile participate in cycle addition reaction, you know all. Uh, so one the diene homo and you will consider the dienophile lumo. So this is the dienophile. For dienophile you have the carbon, carbon and carbon or for ketene carbon, carbon and oxygen. So as you can understand one carbon is attached with another carbon and this carbon is attached with another carbon. So this carbon carbon double bond is one plane. Let's say this plane is this one but another cc double bond is happening actually a perpendicular plane so these two um, uh, pi bond is actually are in perpendicular that's why these two lobes these two pi bond in perpendicular with these two pi bond understand you so homo will be all the uh, no nodes no nodes in the homo so this will be the homo and for lumo this will be the lumo so we need only the lumo configurations lobe configuration of the lumo for dienophile so this is the dienophile so you have this dienophile and you have the uh, homo of diene now if you rotate 90 degree this will form like this now one thing you have to remember these things happens these 2 plus 2 cycle additions in uh, specialized alkene happens in a perpendicular direction that's why this uh, go in the forward direction that's why this happens in success so you have this uh, a carbon carbon double bond like diene and you have dienophile so carbon oxygen double bond doesn't participate for bond form between this carbon and this carbon so this carbon oxygen this carbon oxygen bond will not considered in this case so here you can, can say uh, here you can see for in perpendicular interactions this is the positive lobe and this is the positive lobe so obviously it is the bonding interaction this is the positive lobe for carbon and this is the another positive lobe for carbon they are obviously bonding interaction but at the same time anti-bonding interaction is also happening that this is the negative lobe and this is the positive lobe this is the negative lobe this is the positive lobe so average total bond order will be like zero no uh, no bond order no extra bond order has been gained by the molecular interactions so obviously there will be some specialized interaction which is giving the stabilization for the product otherwise why it's going in the forward direction so we will now see what's the special interaction is happening now one thing we have not considered in the previous slide that you have to understand that this carbon atom for the dienophile lumo this carbon this is the carbon this is the also carbon and this is the oxygen so for this carbon atom you have not considered another p orbital which is perpendicular to this p orbital means this pi bond that you have to consider so this is the another p orbital which is in conjugations with this p orbital that is another plane of oxygen another plane of this uh, pi bond so this is for conjugations with this oxygen orbital so here you can see uh, if we consider that orbital you can get four more bonding interaction one on this one two three and four okay so now two more bonding interaction is happening that is normal case but four more extra bonding interaction is happening that's why it's giving the, uh, that's why it's getting the stabilized product so this is the positive lobe this is the positive lobe and this is the positive lobe bonding interaction is happening this is also the positive lobe and this is also the positive lobe bonding interaction happening this should be the normal thing but what extra is happening this orbital this orbital this orbital and this red colored orbital are actually in parallel you can see in the figure these three orbitals are in parallel so this is the negative lobe this is the negative lobe this is the negative lobe so bonding interaction is happening like this 
bonding interaction is happening like this manner you have shown in the dotted black dot and also bonding interaction is happening this plus and this plus this is the plus so this plus and this plus and this plus this plus so this orbitals is also happening in the bonding because only the fact that this orbital and this orbital these three orbital are in parallel these giving the stabilizations of the intermediate for, uh, uh, transition state that's why this cycle addition is happening and its success for only specialized alkene so this is an important topic for CSI and NET. Thank you for watching. Uh, that's all about the specialized cycle addition. Thank you for watching.